All right, let's factor the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And to do that, we'll use these guidelines here. So the first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation like this here. So this is our skeleton equation. Next, we want to find the terms that we put within our skeleton equation. So if the center term is negative, like this right here, we have a center term that's negative, last term is positive, what we'll do is we'll put negatives in here on our skeleton. So now we want to find the factors of that last term, and they should add up to give us the middle term, this negative 4x here. So the factors for 3, that's just 1 times 3. So we could put a 1 and a 3 in, and negative 3, negative 1, that does equal negative 4. But we should check our work with the FOIL method here, just to make sure we have this correct. First terms plus the outside terms, that's negative 3x, plus the inside, that's just negative 1x, and then the last, negative 1 times negative 3 gives us a positive 3, that equals 0. We can combine these terms here, and we end up with x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0, and that's what we started out with. So we did this correctly, we factored the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0 correctly. Let's find the values for x now that'll make this whole side of the equation here 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. To do that, we could say x minus 1 equals 0. So x would equal 1. x equals 3. So if you put 1 in for x and work this out, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3, that'll equal 0. Likewise, if you put 3 in for x, do the math all of this equals zero here, you know you've done it correctly. You could also use the quadratic equation and you'd end up with these same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals zero. Thanks for watching.